brand new skates put you on thin ice. Head to safety and your BFF avoids the cracks. Hello everyone, Slow Motion Atomic Bomb here again with another video. Today, I'm playing some festive themed Pico 8 games. Yes, I do like the Pico 8. Played some Pico 8 games. Ooh. Oh, we're off. Yes, this is um, Puffy Courts. <laughs> it's a nice skating game where I've got to avoid these cracks. Skate over to my friend. It's a very short, very simple little game, this. It was made for a holiday-themed game jam as part of a Pico 8 advent calendar. And there we go. I've successfully achieved it. Or have I? There we are. Here comes my friend now. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, well, they're going to fall in the, the water, aren't they? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, <laughs> wasn't that a lovely short little game? Yes, I do really like the Pico 8. It's a fantasy console, if you're not aware of it with limited colour palettes and it's designed to make it easy for beginners who want to code, want to make their own games. So we move on to Holiday Jumper and this is a little uh, platformer as you see for the 2021 advent calendar. He plays this uh, little reindeer. And look there's an ugly Christmas sweater, it's a play on words, it's a pun, a Christmas jumper. And you've got to avoid the snowmen and the Christmas trees and the birds. Oh, you get blown up. You get blown to bits. Yes, I do, um... I do enjoy a good Pico 8 game. $15. Not sponsored. $15. Get you the Pico 8 and the games are free. You can learn a little bit of coding yourself. It's a lot easier than you would think, although... I've never been able to properly make a game on it, because I'm too much of a simpleton. Now one of the things I think here is you need to be aware that you can't just go full throttle the whole time. You've got to slow down at the right spaces. Ah, I've messed up again. You're going to get used to the patterns. Obviously once you've uh, done it a few times, in theory, you should uh, get the hang of it. You should get the rhythms. I clearly haven't. I ran straight into that snowman like an absolute gonk. Not sure how many levels this uh, has, but I tested it a little bit last night. And uh, I got stuck on <laughs> this level for absolutely ages. But there are more. There is an end. It's not an endless runner. I just need to be careful. Knew that snowman was coming this time, but I keep missing that platform. But I just, I love the creativity of Pico 8. One of the best things about it is that because it's limited, you don't spend time sort of faffing about. You know, choosing colour palettes and making sure everything looks brilliant. You've got a fairly limited amount of pixels, a limited amount of colours. 16, I think. So you basically, you know, you've got a couple of shades of green, a couple of shades of blue, and then some, uh, everything else is just as it is. And the emphasis of that, I think, is to uh, get on and make your game. I've always, I've always been able to make a little bit of a game. The last time I tried to probably learn how to code for Pico 8, what happened was, I ended up... Um, Copying a bunch of instructions. I, I did like a an online class with some uh, very helpful YouTube videos. They weren't that helpful because what they taught me to do... It wasn't the fault of the video, it's just the way my brain works. It taught me how to copy what they did. So in the end, I made the exact same game that they made. But when I actually thought, well, now I've learned how to do it. Ah, oh, very close there. I'll be able to, like, apply what I've learned to my own situation. And, no, I couldn't. All I could do was just copy what I'd seen. 
But maybe you'll have better luck with it if you ever uh, decide to indulge. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to have to concentrate really hard to uh, to get through this. I don't think it helps that I'm jabbering, doing a running commentary. You must be getting sick of seeing the <laughs> same bit of level. Uh, look, I'm taking it a little bit slower, but then... Because the problem... There it is, there's the end. The problem when you take it a little bit slower is that you eventually come to a point where you need to um, have a little bit of speed, a little bit of momentum. So that's what I mean about you have to sort of learn the layout of these levels, be able to anticipate what's coming. That was tight. Uh, so you've got to jump across much longer obstacles. There we go. The maroon jumper proved a lot easier than the green. Now, oh god, this is where I sort of came unstuck last night. It's these icicles falling down that always get me. Because you never know which ones are going to drop and which ones aren't. If I go... Ah, right, so... That platform... I can stand under the platform and not get hit. But I can't really slow down and stop. I feel like I don't do enough Pico 8 compilation videos on my channel. The ones I did previously were always a lot of fun. So yeah, I can sort of go slow then under them, but there we go, there we go. And then I <laughs> messed up that jump. Can we just get to the end of this one? The problem is, like a lot of these Pico 8 games that are very addicting, and we just get to the end of this, at which point I will get to the end of it and then suddenly go, oh, well, let's try the next one. Oh, that is challenging. That is very challenging. I'm, I'm enjoying it too much. You're just going to have to put up with it. You're going to have to watch me keep failing because I'm having a nice time. Right, so it's these bigger jumps now. Ah, bloody hell. Never mind. Well, that is really good, and I'm probably going to come back to that in my own time. In the meantime, let's move on to... Bauble Buster. Yep. Look, there's a Christmas tree. Clear 42% to complete. So this... You'll notice is a little bit like uh, Peggle. Good old Peggle from Pop Cap. That got cannibalised by EA. As with a lot of things. There you go, 64% cleared. You get three norms. And you score more points if you use less. You need to clear as much of the tree as possible, reach a certain threshold. Got extra norms. I don't know if you can see, but I'm um, I've got these. I'm in control of these elves at the bottom. Got this little platform. Clear forty-seven percent. I don't know if the are the reds and the yellows worth different points. I don't. I think they're all just worth three. These candy canes get me any bonuses. It's very, very simple, very straightforward. It's a lot of fun. It is it's kind of hard trying to anticipate where it's going to land. Doing pretty well, I think. Don't know how many levels it's got. We can only, we can only see how far we get. There's a lot of candy canes there. I don't really have to do much. The sort of game that you can play with someone that isn't that comfortable using a controller because you just press a button, drop your elf, and away you go. Seems to be a little bit of slowdown when you hit those candy canes. Probably because there's a lot going on. I think maybe... Uh, on the next one, I might drop an, an extra elf. Well, this is going spectacularly well. That was only 64% cleared. Oh, there's a lot of uh, rockets there. Let's see if we can get a rocket. Oh. There we go. Extra norms. 
Got another one. Oh my god, this is carnage. <laughs> this is outrageous. Oh, am I going to clear the lot? Am I going to clear the lot? Go on! That's got to be it all, hasn't it? Is that all of it? I'm just keeping this <laughs> norm up now for no good reason. <laughs> Surely I've cleared it. 100%. A norm gave you a medal. Wow. Here we go then. What does that do? That spinning disc of doom. Oh, fired off another firework. Good old Christmas fireworks, Christmas rockets. Sensational. It's a heckin' good time, this. We'll see if we can get to level 10. We'll get to 69%, so obviously it's the, um... Little bit of business, the little bar at the top of the screen that you want to keep an eye on, but you can't because you're watching this. Did I do it? If I did, I've only just done it. I guess I didn't do it, so I need to drop another elf, and I'm going for the uh, ball. Oh, that's gone perfectly down. How do I get it to diagonalize? There we go. Oh, I see. So do I... Do I run out of norms? Is there a game over? Or do I just start every level with three? I guess I start every level with three. It seems to be that way. It adds a little circle on the right side with a three in it, and now it's got a two in it. God, this is... This is really good fun. So simple. I wish I could come up with really simple ideas for fun games like this. What's happening there? Oh, I did it. Level 10. Well, I made a pig's ear of that. What a terrible drop. That's a lot more like it. Oh, I might not make it. I might not make it at level 10. Flipping heck. No! Did I do it? Game over at level 10. Well, there you go. Bobble Buster, that's a really good one. I like it. And finally, we end with something saucy. Something for the dance. Put the kids to bed. It's Fist the Elf's Huzzling Pinups. So this is uh, Fist the Elf. Has no shame. Wanting more of the same. No having it off. Instead got spun off as a lame puzzle game. Hey Santa baby. There's something that I want to show you. This is my puzzle. I won't show it to just anybody. Yikes, I'm a hot mess. I need you to give me a good seat. <laughs> good grief. Use the D-pad or arrow keys to select rows and columns. Nice, you're very good with your fingers. Ooh. Hold X and use the directions to slide tiles. To play one-handed, for accessibility reasons, you can change the button operation in the pause menu. Yes, the idea is uh, that you shift the pieces around a bit like one of those puzzle game things you had in the 80s. Work in circles, they used to say. Oh, you finished already? I hoped it had last longer. Don't fret, we can always go again. I'm sure we can. Replaying a puzzle is harder. That's just how I like it. Ugh. There she is, Fist the Elf. I believe she comes from... Another series of Pico 8 games. Holiday themed games that I'm not entirely familiar with. Oh, what do I need to do there? You put you there, put you there. You there. And you there. 
but it's fairly straightforward. It gets a little bit trickier later on. Who's coming down your chimney tonight? <laughs> so there you see, you'd start to get more pieces. So this is going to uh, frustrate me massively, no doubt. Um, Gordon Bennett. So that wants to be there. Buckle in, because we could be here for a long, long time. <laughs> that wants to be up there, doesn't it? So, you there. If I do that, put that there, I can then take this back to here. And then shift that around, and that was fairly straightforward. Eight moves. Hot coffee with hot friends. Hmm, lovely. Right then, one more to complete the nice... Oh, there's a bomb. There's a bit of bomb. I think that one's, like, in the middle as it should be. So, let's bring this down to here. Yeah, there's the left. So there, there, those bits will all be on the same layer, so that's there. There you go, look. That, that was very straightforward. The joy of unwrapping your Christmas presents, indeed. Well, I guess we'll move on to the naughty layer. I will say, don't worry, there's nothing that you shouldn't be seeing. Uh, actually, fairly straightforward. It is quite easy, I will say that, to mess these puzzles up. Thankfully, they're laid out in a way where if you sort of have a vague idea of what you're doing, they shouldn't be too hard to put together. Shouldn't be too hard. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Don't know which bit is which here, but that obviously goes there. Uh, oh, now. Now you're talking. All right, so that wants to be there. Oh, what have I... That right? That's it. I thought I made a meal of that, but I hadn't. Feeling when you ate too much Christmas dinner. Spend Boxing Day on the bog. Oh, no. 16 squares, but these, thankfully, appear to be in pretty much the right order. They just want shuffling. There you go. Nothing beats a hot bath on a cold, wintry day. I had a hot shower on a cold, wintry day today, and it was very nice. Right, one more. I don't know what I'm looking at. But, well, this, they do seem to go together. And they seem to go together, so I'm guessing that it's along these lines. There you go. That was fairly simple. Fish the elf. Heading to bed after a long day of partying. Lovely. Well, there you go. Some uh, <laughs> sexy Pico 8 Christmas fun. Wasn't that lovely? Solving little by little. Game was barely a giggle. We didn't see a thing. It's disappointing. Not a single elf nipple. I'm sort of thankful for that because otherwise I'd probably get banned off YouTube. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, please, would you be so kind as to like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed, ding the bell to get updates on future videos and we shall see you again next time. Until then, happy Christmas!